Have you ever faced any problems in life? Of course you have, we all have. Maybe you're facing a challenge today. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what you can do when problems come your way. Find out the answer right now. My name is Dustin Barker. I'm the author of Hello God Says My Name Is, and thanks for joining us today on my channel where my passion is to see you win. I wanna see you accomplish all the plans that God has for your life. There are challenges in this life. Jesus never promised that we wouldn't have trouble. In fact, he actually told us the opposite. John 16, Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So you see, as long as we are still in this world, which by the way, this world is not our our home. We have an eternal home established by Jesus, but while we are still here and until we go to our eternal destination, we will have some trouble in a world that has a lot of sin and still has an enemy, the devil. But sadly, many Christians focus more on the trouble rather than the part Jesus ended the verse with. He said, hey, take heart, I've overcome the world. I believe he is basically saying, yeah, you're going to have some challenges in this world, but don't worry about it. I I've already defeated the world and I'm going to take care of you. So don't be too focused on the problem of life, don't be too focused on the challenges, be focused on the one who gives you the victory. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We don't ignore problems like they aren't there. We just don't give them any of our attention. Now, if you're dealing with physical issues, you don't have to pretend like it isn't there, but focus on the stripes of Jesus more than you focus on the problem. Focus on those stripes that he took so that you could be healed. Focus on Psalm 103 that says, don't forget God's benefits, that he will heal all your diseases. Don't focus more on the disease or the sickness than you do the healer. And if you're dealing with like financial issues or lack, don't focus more on the need than you do the provider. God said he wouldn't withhold any good thing from you in Psalm 8411, and he longs to take good care of you. We are given a great example of what this looks like in the Bible in Matthew 14. This was when Jesus was walking on the water. In verse 27, Jesus said, do not be afraid. Then in verse 29, he called Peter out to him. Peter, keeping his eyes on Jesus, he stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water. The problem then in verse 30 is that he took his eyes off Jesus and his promise and he began to look at the wind and waves and he became afraid and began to sink. Now remember, Jesus told him in verse 24, don't be afraid. But Peter started looking at the problems, he started looking at the trouble and he began to sink. Jesus never wanted Peter to sink. He wanted him to keep his eyes on him and walk all the way to him. In verse 31, Jesus caught Peter when he was falling and said, why did you doubt? My opinion of what he was saying was something like this. Why did you take your eyes off me and what I said? I believe I know what happened. Peter walked out on the water into the trouble where the wind and waves were. And the trouble started speaking to him. The wind and the waves began to scream at him. And when he took his focus off of Jesus and began to listen to the fear from the wind and the waves, he began to sink. Here's what we can learn from this. Our circumstances speak to us. The devil speaks to us. Trouble tries to speak to us. But my encouragement to you is don't look at the trouble. It may be speaking loud. The devil may be telling you that this is never going to happen or that's never going to happen. Or maybe you got a bad report. Maybe someone hurt you. Maybe you're facing disappointment. My friend, don't take your eyes off of Jesus. This is how we go down. Don't take your eyes off his promise, off his word. Even when you face challenges or you face opposition, keep your eyes on what God said. For example, in your Bible, in Romans 8, 28, it says that God can work all things together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. So don't focus so much on the problem, but on the promise that God will turn this around for good if you'll just stay connected to him. Problems in life will often do one of two things. They'll either push you away from God or they'll draw you closer to him. Many are pushed away because they think God doesn't care or that he does bad things, when the reality is we live in a sin-filled world with an enemy, the thief, the devil, who comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and he loves it when he does bad things and people get mad at God and walk away from God. What I would encourage you to do is let any trouble push you closer to the comforter, push you closer to the one who can help you and the one who can bring you through in victory and can cause you to overcome. So focus more on the answers than the problems. And guess what? God is your answer. Don't look at the storms. Don't look at the wind. Don't look at the waves. Keep your eyes on the one who walks on the waves in the middle of the storms. You aren't ignoring that they are there. You are deciding not to acknowledge them and you don't care what they have to say. But looking at problems and talking about your problems is how you go down in life and how you start to sink. Get your eyes on this. Find something in here 
to look at every time discouragement comes or every time the devil tells you that something is going to happen, come back and look at Jesus, look at his word and look at his promises. So my friend, if you're going through a challenge today, just choose not to look at it, choose to keep your eyes on Jesus, find a promise, stand on it and keep thanking him and he will bring you through. He will cause you to walk in victory and he will help you overcome. I hope that this video encouraged you. Do me a favor, click the thumbs up button down here somewhere. Click subscribe so you never miss another video and guess what? We'll see you in the next video. Bye.